Hi, this is Kushbu with another question of lines and angles. This is question number 5. I'm sorry, this is question number 6 from exercise 6.2, page number 104, comment the app. This says in figure 6.33, PQ and RS are two mirrors. This is PQ, this is RS. Two mirrors are given. Placed parallel to each other to be considered a parallel end. An incident ray AB strikes the mirror PQ at P. AB is ray here, so this PQ will be reflected here. The reflected ray moves along the path PC. So reflected ray here, path BC is going to go back. And strike the mirror RS at C. And the mirror will strike the mirror C. Part. And again reflects along CD. And then the CD is going to reflect along CD. Prove that AB is parallel to CD. In two lines, we have to prove that C is going to be Z. But we have to prove that C is going to be parallel to C. We have to prove that C is going to be तब जाके हम कह सकते हैं कि यस ये लाइंस पैनल है। तो सबसे पहले अगर उसमें कंस्ट्रक्शन करें, कंस्ट्रक्शन, हम यहाँ से इसमें अगर को बेंडी मिरर ड्रॉ करें, लेट्स सपोज इस बी एन, इस सी एन, सो ड्रॉ बी एन को बेंडी मिरर टू पी क्यू and CM perpendicular to RS. Go with the perpendicular. Now, if we draw the perpendicular, then we will see that there are two lines parallel. Because these are parallel lines. We have drawn the perpendicular to the perpendicular, so we have the DN perpendicular parallel to the CM. Since PQ parallel, this is given, PQ parallel RS, therefore, B N is parallel to sorry this is perpendicular also perpendicular is parallel to C M. और हमें given है कि A B इस पे incident हो रही है और C D इस पे incident हो रही है और हमें proof करना है A B parallel है C D के proof अगर हम इसको ले लेते हैं this is let's suppose angle one this is angle two this is angle Q, this is angle 4. So, in this case, we have angle 1 and angle 2 equal to angle 2. Because the law of reflection says that the angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection. So, angle 1 and angle 2 equal to angle 3 and angle 4 equal to angle 2. So, by laws of reflection, angle 1 is equal to angle 2, angle 3, is equal to angle 4. Okay, two angles equal in our part. And, if B n parallel is C n k, so you see Z ban ga hai. So, Z ban ga, that means hold him are alternate angles. That means angle 2 equal hai angle 3 k. Angle 2 equal hai angle 3 k. Alternate angles are equal. So, अगर two three के equal है और one equal है two के, three equal है four के, so अगर हम इन दोनों को add करें angle one plus angle two, angle three plus angle four plus angle two, इन दोनों equations को, and angle three plus angle four, so आपके पास यहाँ पर one और two आपस में equal है, जब ये two three के equal है, अगर one two के भी equal है, that means one three के भी equal होगा. और अगर ये three four के equal है तो that means one four के equal होगा। that means ये पूरी चीज आपकी इस पूरे के equal होगी। this whole thing will be equal to angle three plus angle four। मतलब पूरा angle one plus angle two और angle three plus angle four will be equal। क्योंकि अगर मैं two की जगह पर one two के equal है, two three के equal है and three four के equal है, तो अगर हम इसको हटाकर ये लिख देते हैं यहाँ पर angle two की जगह पर angle four since angle 2 equal है angle 4 के क्योंकि angle 3 equal है 4 के 2 भी equal होगा 4 के तो इन दोनों को हम add करते हैं तो 1 plus 2 equal 3 plus 4 तो 1 plus 2 होता है हमारे पास A B C और 3 plus 4 होता है B C D therefore angle A B C equal angle B C D ये भी नहीं है इसका since alternate angles equal हैं ये पूरे पूरे angle alternate हैं क्योंकि ये Z बना रहा है इस तरह से ये alternate angle equal हैं therefore ये lines parallel हैं तो हम लिखेंगे सिंस ऑल्टरनेट 
angles are equal. Therefore, AB is added to C and C. So this was question number 6 from exercise 6.2 and do watch the next video for some more questions. Goodbye.